So welcome back. I know what you're thinking. You haven't seen one of these in a very long time. I know uh, you've missed lambing time. You've missed carving. I've just been that busy. I honestly, I haven't picked up the GoPro. But um, today is going to be slightly different. Uh, a few people have asked for this um, on my Instagram. If you don't, go follow me, uh, Lake District Farming. Uh, type that in on Instagram and I'll pop up. Uh, but what we're doing today is we are catching moles. So this is one of my meadows behind me. Um, and if you see here, we have moles. And we are absolutely riddled with them. Uh, so I'm going to do a video of how to catch a mole or how I catch a mole, rightly or wrongly. Um, the reason we catch them, or a little bit behind the reason we catch them, is basically when we mole this ground, um, we mole these mole hills, which is full of soil. We then put soil in our winter feed or what we call silage. Um, then basically what happens then is uh, it can give our sheep something called listeria. So listeria is where a sheep eats soil uh, and basically it will kill it eventually. Or if you're lucky enough to catch it, it won't. So this is basically to stop soil getting in our winter feed uh, so it's very important i think it's very important i've known someone uh, feed a bale uh, to some sheep and uh, didn't realize it had soil in it and he went back a couple of days later and he picked seven dead sheep up with it um, so it's quite vital very vital i think so i'm going to teach you how i do it the tricks of the trade i'm not saying i'm any professional doing it i'm not saying i'm i know how to do it um but uh, I think the best year I've ever had is uh, 564 moles in a year. Um, I only do it just whenever I can uh, because it's quite time consuming. Um, but I just thought I'd show you how I do it and uh, yeah, see what you think. But I'm going to show you the most important thing uh, with catching moles. Uh, some people might say different, but it's these things. Gloves. So for me, I have a pair of gloves that I only use for mole traps. These are my pair of gloves. Um, I don't use anything else but that pair of gloves. I don't do it bare hands. I don't use a different pair of gloves. Them gloves I've had for, oh God, since I've been 15. So I'm probably 10 years, I'm 25 now. So yeah, I've probably had them gloves for 10 years. Um, and only thing they do is set my mole traps, that is it. And I think that is key to how I catch them all. Um, so there's different types of mole traps, what you can use. Uh, I'm personally, I'm a barrel man. Um, I find that they work, work best. You can get them in the ground quite tight. You can seal them tight. Uh, and I have found barrel traps work very well. Uh, for me, anyway, uh, I'm not saying that they're the best trap out there. Some people use gas, some people use scissors. Oh, there's, there's all sorts of traps you can use. Uh, some people pill them, but I just find this is the best way and you guarantee that you know you've got the mole as well because you take it out of the ground. Um, so I'm going to show you. Uh, this is a very good example, by the way. They're not all like this. Um, so here we have a straight run. Just here we have a pretty much a straight run um, of where these moles are. So every, I don't actually know what you call, I want to say every area where there is moles, um, you don't have to set one trap. It depends how quick you want them moles out. So I look at this and I think there could be two moles in here. It's quite a long run, there's quite a lot of mole hills. So you sort of have to guess how many moles is. might be wrong. So we're going to set at least three traps in here because there's a lot of mole hills. So it could take a couple of days uh, to find your trap um, if you just put one trap in. So I'm going to probably at least put three traps in here just so I know if I come back tomorrow, there's a good chance that I'm going to have that mole that, I've, uh, that I'm wanting because I've put three traps in the ground. So the next two bits of equipment, what I use uh, for setting mole traps is a prodder to find the runs. Um, some people just use the hands and the knees or the legs, but I just, yeah. Uh, and I don't actually know what you call this. Um, it's like a flat trowel. 
uh, just for digging it up. Uh, so I'll show you how I use them uh, and what I do. Uh, so there they are, the four bits of kit I have for catching moles. So a pair of gloves, a prodder, and a trowel, and obviously a trap. And you can use a stick, or I use blue alkathene because then I can see, it's a lot easier seeing it in a green field, a blue bit of pipe, than a stick sticking out of the ground, I think. So that's, what, that's the four bits you need uh, to hopefully try and catch them all. Right, so what I'm thinking here is, is I'm probably going to put one at the end, one in the middle, and one at the far end. So, so this is probably the middle heap. So to find your run, is what I do with the boot of my heel, or you can use your prodder, is I try to find a soft spot. So automatically, I've put my boot on the ground there, and it's spongy. I don't know if you can see, I know there's a run there already. So this is why I have my trowel in like that round and pop it up and when you pop it up you should have a square sod where you can just peel back like that and automatically I don't know if the lighting's so bad on this automatically you can see a run either way so we found a run so basically that's good we found the run we know where it's going we can put a trap in the ground some people what they do instead of that they use the prodder um, to find where it goes through to prod it in uh, and do it that way but i just find with your heel you can just feel it just where it's where it just gives in and you can dig it up like that so what i think is very important here is when we've done that out like that you'll see these bits of grass here I need to put my gloves on before I get them out. See these bits of grass? Them bits of grass need to come out. Um, basically, a mole, I don't actually know if it has eyes or not. I don't think a mole does have eyes. Well, the strongest uh, thing it has is its smell. It can smell anything different. So what you've got to do is set that trap in the ground without changing anything possibly you can. So if it see, well, I can't see, if it smells a bit of grass, it's going to know that, well, how's, how's a bit of grass got in my run? So it's going to smell it different. So the automatically thing it's going to do is either going to go the other way or it clogs your trap up. So when I say clogs your track up, trap up, it normally means so it'll shove soil in your trap and it's not going to go through your trap. So it's going to go around it. So it's clever. Moles are very, very clever. They know what they're doing. Uh, so, yeah, hang on. I'm just going to put you down and, yeah. Right, I don't know how well you can actually see this, but hopefully very well. So this is the trap. So to set it, uh, it's quite simple. Obviously have your catch here that releases it uh, and two springs that spring it up to trap you all. So you shove down at the top here, put the catch over the top, like that. Uh, then I put my finger underneath and you have, I can't know if you can just see, have a little latch there and you just latch it on, like that. So the idea is when you put this in the ground, uh, like that, get this bit of grass off, uh, the mole comes in, um, mole comes in like that, touches the catch, releases it, and it's got it, it traps it, so it can't go anywhere. Uh, so that's basically how they work. Um, like you say, I find that they, they work really well. Um, I don't think you can beat barrel traps really. They've been around for donkey's years. Um, so yeah, so you set both sides. So once you set both sides, that trap's ready to spring. It's very important um, when you hold the trap that you don't put your fingers in there or anything like that, because if it goes off, you'll probably break your finger and you'll be squealing like a pig. So it's very important to hold it top of the trap like that. Uh, I found, well, I've, yeah, I have had my finger in it before and it hurts a lot. Uh, so anyway, so placing the trap. So how I place the trap is, uh, obviously you want to make sure that the, both the runways are clear. There's no stones. Uh, you've actually got a proper run. Uh, so anyway, we'll place, place it in. like that so it's 
in the ground tight there's a bit of a gap there and i don't like that but what i do differently um is a lot of people i've seen people just do that and leave it like that it's the worst possible thing you can do because now you're stopping that trap springing up so never put your sod back over the top your sod's there so when you finish it's easy covered uh, and you're not disturbing your ground so what i do is is i break a bit of sod off like that to put to put over the top like that So break a bit of sod off like that from your mow pile, get a bit of soil like that in your hand and just put it on top. So what you want to do here is you want to seal this in so mould can smell air. So what I do, and this is an easy way to trap your, check your traps as well I think. So what I've done there is I've put the soil on top, I've patted it round like that and I've just got a flat surface now. So if that mole sets the trap off, you're gonna see it stick up. If you see it clogs it up or it moves, you'll see that your flat surface has disturbed. So like that. So if you see, it's very flat, it's very smooth. No, it can't smell air. Your trap's in. Only thing you've left to do is put your stick next to it. And that's it. That's all you've got to do. So yeah. So I've just done a just done another trench and um, yeah I probably won't be able to cover everything uh, because I've tried my best because like I say I'm in a rush. Uh, so I've dug another sod up there um, and what we call a three-way run. So there's three runs. So I have a run going, uh, I have a run going that way, and I have a run going that way, and I have a run going this way. Really, uh, that's no good because you trap can only have you know two two ways so i'll either dig this up to bring it back or i'll go find another run somewhere i could go along here dig it up here uh, then it's two ways uh, but what i'm probably going to do is pull this back because it's going to that pile because it's a fresh pile it's quite fresh up is that so i know it's going that way to shove soil up and it must be coming this way as a main run um uh, as a main run um, so I'm probably going to pull it back uh, and put put the trap here. So this is another perfect example um, of a clear run. Uh, so the mulch moles come in that way and that way. So uh, like you say, what you want to do is clear all this grass out like that. I should be doing this with my gloves on because like you say, moles can smell if you've washed your hands or you've itched your nose, you'll smell it on your hands. Uh, so you want to try to be that's why we have these dirty gloves basically so it cannot smell anything off me just smell soil basically then it thinks there's no different so yeah but that's a good example of a nice clean run um so obviously using that a lot because there's the soil at the bottom uh is well compacted so it's obviously using this run quite often uh so hopefully uh putting a trap in the ground uh hopefully we'll get it tomorrow so i have one trap here one trap in the middle, one trap at the end. So that's the three traps. So we'll come back tomorrow night uh, and we'll see if we've got it. Uh, hopefully we have. But yeah, uh, like I say, there's a lot of talking in this, not a lot of showing. If you have any questions, um, like the clogging it up or 
um like you say if, if it clogs it up tomorrow i'll uh, show you what i do if it clogs it up there's a few different tricks what i do um but yeah uh but yeah i'll see you tomorrow so i've just come down to a different uh block of land what we have and i forgot to say the last one was a good example where it was in a straight line so if i turn it around here they are there is no straight line they're dotted all over so what i do here is this is obviously the freshest one this is recently and just been pushed up because you can see it's not dry on top it's wet so it's been pushed up so what i do here is probably put a couple of traps in so there's almost like six piles here in a line ish so i'd probably go into the middle here because i know it's waiting to expand then i'd probably go if you look up further up here these are some obviously old ones that it's still using uh, but it seems to come back to here so i'd probably put one in the old ones where it's probably regularly regularly using i can't don't know why i could say that word uh but yeah and we also i'm gonna say it normally doesn't look like this in the lake district it's normally absolutely peeing it down uh but yeah what a bunny night uh here's another one so like you say they're dotted all over uh, and as you can see they just make a mess of your in between your grass it's absolutely horrendous it's uh yeah i should have done this sooner uh but i've been on uh i've been catching on uh meadows round home um last year i got 49 out of there before first cut uh and i thought I'd, I'd got every single one we did first cut and you can hear the soil go through the mower and i was like oh. like you do you're thinking now that's soil in my silage um anyway uh a couple of days later after taking first cut uh, more moles appeared so i actually ended up getting another 19 uh out my meadows and you're like you just wonder where they come from um but we are surrounded by bogs woods well woods is the main thing They'll probably go into the woods for the winter Hi, not hibernate but uh go in the woods where it's probably a bit warmer where they can get a bit more shelter uh then come springtime they seem to come back into the meadows and pastures and they're just alive with them um, but yeah and i forgot to say before um with these bowel traps uh when you get them new if you can uh what i normally do is i leave them in soil just to take the shine take the smell off them just so they smell like soil basically uh, so if you can do it put these in soil uh, I think that's another trick what I do uh, hopefully tomorrow uh, when I'm back um, I'll uh, if there's any clogged up which there will be because I always do like you say I'm, I'm no professional at this um, I'll uh, I'll show you what I do when they're clogged up I have a couple of tricks what I do with some stones or moving them so hopefully I'll get to show you tomorrow uh, welcome back this is day two um so at the same same spot where we were yesterday all in a straight line i haven't checked the traps so i'm going to check these three traps that we set yesterday and hopefully see how we get on so first one as you can see the soil hasn't moved it's still flat so it hasn't disturbed it um i also have my partner in crime as me here it's been shy oh second one and this is what i mean this trap's gone off here i can't really see because the lighting's so bad so as you can see the trap's just just come up do you want to come and pull it out yeah. this is esme's favorite job isn't it glass and there you have it mr moley so there so like we did before uh this i knew this here was a straight run so obviously this mole has been using uh this in a straight line so this is it was a perfect example you find the straight line where that mole uh is using it often and like i say nine times out of ten it pays off so i shouldn't really be touching this trap with my hands but as you can see it's quite a big mole that it is quite a big fella so only thing it does is just nips it under there um and you've got it so uh, I'll check the next one. So the next one here, obviously, it's absolutely fine. So one mole 
can make all this mess. Uh, but what I'm probably going to do here is um, I'm probably going to leave the traps in just to make sure that there's not another mole, that there's not two of them. Uh, then if I come back tomorrow um, and uh, none of the traps have been disturbed and uh, I don't catch another mole, all three traps will be picked up. Um, I think I've 16 or 17 traps set at the moment, so me and Esme is going to go around all these now um, and yeah, uh, see how many we've got. Uh, so anyway, I hope that was some sort of help uh, or how I catch moles. If you've learned anything, uh, let me know if it's actually worked, like my technique. Um, like you say, there's thousands of people probably who tell me how to do it. And I want to know how you do it because I could learn something from you. Oh, that's a big one. <laughs> right, what do you think? No, don't put your fingers in there, darling. What have I said? When you pick the traps up, mm -hmm. you have to pick them up by ear. Okay. Go, lass. Oh, hasn't caught it, has it? It tricked it. it yeah, it's tricked. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, that's a baby one. Let's have a pass it here. Do you know it's a baby one? Yeah, it's not a very big, is it? That's better. I can see it in the sunlight. So, this is a perfect example of uh, a trap being clogged so as you can see just push the trap out the ground and it is absolutely full of soil so there's a couple of tricks uh, what I do here so I'll dig that hole again and if it's made a run underneath what I'll do is put it back in the ground um, but I have a bit of a party trick uh, and use one of these so obviously it's a stone um, I'll put two stones each side so if it thinks it's going to clog the trap again when it pushes soil up above the trap this hard stone will push against the hard metal and it will set the trap off a lot easier if it's clogged the runs absolutely completely uh, what I'll do is I'll find a new run now um, and reset the trap and I'll put these stones in whatever so this is a bit of my party trick I found that when you put stones uh, just beneath the trap like in the trap when it goes to push uh, soil, it sets the traps off a hell of a lot easier. Um, I've found, uh, so like I say, what I'll do now is uh, is I'll, I'll probably have a dig in here and uh, see what I can find. So it was literally just here, so I've never come uh, like a yard this way. You can't really see the lights. So, bad. Uh, so I have a run here and a run there. So the only thing I'll do now is a little stone. I'll put either side. A little one there. Either side. I'll shake my trap off. So it's clean, so your trap's clean and empty. I'll put it in like that and place it in so when that mole comes it'll shove them stones and set off the trap a lot easier uh, because obviously it can smell something on this trap um, and that's how it can that's how it knows it's there so hopefully this will uh, this will catch it out fingers crossed anyway it's gone off you're gonna pick it out There you go, Molly. What I think the most important job after you, you've caught your mole is to do what Esme is doing and scale your heaps out. So when you scale the heaps out, obviously 
it scatters the soil around and hopefully you know that uh, there's no more moles here because there'll be no fresh hills pushed up uh, so every time I catch a mole most important job is to scale your heaps out so leaves it nice and flat like this to a certain degree and hopefully a grass will grow through it and it leaves it nice and flat so yeah another one down Another one. Another daddy one. <laughs> daddy one, is it? <laughs> yeah. Please help. Please help. Uh, is, is it? Uh, oh, it's a big one, that one. Yeah. Yeah. Good lass. Yeah. That's here. So, hang on, hang on, darling. So this here, hang on, this here, it, it set both traps off, so there could be two moles in here. So, should we set, find out if there's two moles? Oh, wow! Look at that! Hell! <laughs> yeah! You don't get, you don't get that very often. Two moles in one trap. So, yeah. Hell, I can't believe that. The time I actually do a YouTube video, yeah, I get two moles in one trap. So, yeah, I'm pleased with that. So, again, I haven't touched this. This is a double boat. Both traps have been set off, uh, but it's uh, there's a bit of soil around, so it might have just bunged it up. So, do you want to pull it out, see if we've got one or two? Just one. So, what the moles have done here is it shoved it it's gone through a bit further and set it off as it's further through and obviously it's wriggled and set the other trap off but happy with that you happy with that cool lass so this is the end of the video um so i've had 30 traps today and i've gone around 30 traps and i've 16 moles uh so just over half um uh, so I'd actually say that's a good run. I'd probably say out of 30 traps, I'd only probably get 10 to 12. Uh, so yeah, half him. I'm pretty pretty impressed with that. So yeah, this is the lineup. Uh, so as you can see, there's little, there's large, there's big, there's fat ones, there's thin ones. Uh, but yeah, no, thank you for watching. I hope you've learned something. Um, I hope I've, well not learned. I hope I've taught you something. Um, and if it actually works and you follow me on Instagram, tag me in it if you've caught them all. I want to know if my method actually works for other people or whether is it, is it just my potluck. Um, but yeah, if you've liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Helps push the video on, helps push the channel on. I want to hit a thousand subscribers uh, time I get to Christmas. So fingers crossed I can do that. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll get you some more videos soon. See you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.